David Fitzgerald, David Half point Tassin Schlitter again. Hagas and Machlesh, Hofad Le Cahal Malone, Cahal, Fiachan Suas, Fiachan Kankin, Fiachan de Will Ene, Erfoil and Son, and Nordelo, Bout of Oinele, Hagas Gielu Stachenson, Peter Duggan, Ashek David Fitzgerald and Ish, Suas Clehorn, Shun the Park, Ashin Pass, Glotus, Dasa Stoel, Akhokin, Hassan Dancher of the Huntan Hard, Hobbide, Ek Kuntan Hard, Hagas Ek Shin the Mori, Thorhen Fihikug, Korkig, Ado, and Media. Kenny goes short. Oh, and this one may not work out. It hasn't worked out for Kenny. Wrexham are in on goal. Kevin Foley doing well now. Seamus Casey. And well, it's in eventually. Billy Drennan makes no mistake. And Kenny moved three in front. 15 minutes to play. Billy Drennan stroke a full time. Another goal for Kilkenny. They lead by three. Long one down the field for Mark Fanning. Time against Wexford now. Lee Chin tried to get on the end of it. Chin gets the shot in. The break spills and it's in. Another goal for Wexford. It's level. Key and burn in added time. Kilkenny 216. Wexford 216. Offaly played with the breeze in the opening half in Tullamore and moved into a three points to two lead after seven minutes, thanks to this point from Killian Sampson. Waterford found themselves on the back foot early on, but good individual work from Stephen Bennett in the 17th minute engineered the opportunity for the point and helped close the gap to three at seven points to four. The game's opening goal arrived just seconds later when Jack Prendergast raced through the Offaly defence before setting up Sean Walsh, who made no mistake with the finish. Waterford's second goal came in unorthodox fashion in the 26th minute. Stephen Bennett's touch from the free was eventually picked up by Michael Kiley before Bennett took a hold of possession again and fired to the net from a tight angle. And things got even better for the visitors moments later when Bennett found the net again to send Waterford 3-7 to eight points in front. Trailing by 3-8 to 10 points at half-time, Offaly made a bright start to the second half and reeled off the first four points in a row, including this score from Brian Dignan. A superb effort from Jack Fagan was one of the best points of the afternoon and helped Waterford into a 3-16 to 17 points lead. And Shane Bennett also got in on the scoring act with his shot from range shortly after his introduction, helping the Dacia move on to 3-19. In the end, it was a comfortable victory for the visitors with Waterford winning on a scoreline of 3-20 to Offaly's 17 points. Maher Fossig Lushacht, Dirke Hene Oskult. Schnee wie gestrige, der Schehene Grode, auch kann er nie Grode, auch nicht so sagt Craig Morgan Penny. Kaffochen Kane, Wulchischen Vater Gelor, Dirkos Kennet Sassnauen, Vögel Weikli. Kösch kam das letzte Ewige, Brian, Hesen, sein Nischmarschen, und Uhringen, sein Laskolte, Geschut, Harrison Sassnauen. Bruma hat sein Gekorri. Ach, ihr habt euch geholt in St. Craig Morgan. Und ihr seht, ihr könnt nicht durch den Ross und so. Sean Ryan und Paddy Smith. Und schüttelt euch durch den Ryan. Bitte ein Hirt, Hulle, Tacht und so. Und ein Hirt, Chancellor, wo ihr geht, Ryan. Und ihr seht, nicht, ihr könnt Patten zu gehen. Nach dem Vorsten, Lauder, Sohorok. Kug für ihn zu Atterra. Craig Morgan. Pass auf den Geholt in Geschut. Brut und Sonne, weil ihr geht. Timber Darden, talk against Aiklin. Cussed for Sean to get shoot. Sheeran, so good he will eat Connors. I got shin pass on the horse to pass and score again, will he? I got Morris. At the end of a stacker, he goes. I got Cadaliuk, she. Ach, boy, the unpassed motto against Connors. What a hole, I got shot by the sphere against Timber Darden. What a way to sphere against Blackie. 
In the 16th minute, the treaty defence was under pressure. Ryan McMullen hand-passed the ball into the path of Fred McCurry, who added in pass keeper Jamie Power. It was now six points to 1-5. After shrugging off this decent shoulder from Barry Murphy, Niall O'Connor got this stunning score to have them back in front. It was seven points to 1-6 after 21 minutes. Adam English helped himself to some scores. This one came from a lovely catch and swivel to pop it over the bar to have a 10 points to 1-6. After their great start, Gleeson's team went to spell off 15 minutes with no score and Limerick pushed on. With points coming from Donegal Dalek, Adam English and one from Mark Quinlan. It was Limerick 16, Antrim on 7 at the break. Limerick took it up a few gears in the second half and Antrim Free landed into the hands of Grode Hegarty who passed it off to Shane O'Brien who hit it low into the net to make it 116-17. to He went home with 1-5 to his name. The youthful treaty went on to get the next eight points with no reply. Dunica O'Dalig with another to make it 125-17 to and Dalig finished with a personal tally of seven. With Antrim fading further and further away, it was Scott Walsh who got their only point from playing the second half and it was a tough day out for Darren Gleeson's side. John Coyley's experimental team take the points on offer. Full-time score, Limerick 136, Antrim 1-9. After just five minutes, the home side were ahead by two as Keenan Fahey registered his first big score. David Williams kept the teams close at the start at this point. It was now five points to three. Oh Galway pushed on with scores from Gavin Lee, Tom Monaghan and this one from Evan Island put five between them after just 16 minutes on the clock. Joe Fortune's men worked extremely hard to keep the scoreboard ticking over and Dara Clinton split the posts for the visitors and it was now 14 points to five. Oh after the restart, Galway took complete control. Donal O'Shea sent a high ball in around the house and Flynn flicked it in past Connie. It was now 118 to six points. The tribesmen's second goal came in the 54th minute as Flynn's effort flew past the net, but Keenan Fahey was in hand to finish. It was 2.23 to 7. Connor Whelan, who came on as a substitute, helped set up Flynn, who landed his second goal 10 minutes after his first. Don O'Shea sent another ball in on top of all star Connor Whelan. He blasted into the top right corner to secure their fourth goal of the afternoon. After a tough day out for Westmead, there was David O'Reilly who got the last score to head home after a heavy 31-point defeat from Henry Shefflin's side. Full-time score, Galway 4-31, Westmead 12 points.